Greetings, members, one and all of the Salvation Nation. We are live, and in effect, it is a Sunday night. I hope everybody is doing well. Yes, indeed, starting just a little bit early, trying to get ahead of the markets a bit with some comment review. And I want to make sure everything is working okay, too. Troubleshooting, a little bit of uh, issues here, making sure, some check on the audio. Let's see here. And uh, greetings, members. There it is. Okay, there's the audio. It took, took, takes a little time, unfortunately, for the audio to pop in here. Uh, let's see here. Very good delay. We've got Tricky Guy is first. Wow, Tricky Guy, you're on top of it. I didn't have to invoke your name, and you're here. Juan Ortiz is here. Mike Miller is here, and Terry is here. Very good to see you guys. All right. So let's get into some of this comment review before the markets open up. Uh, Colorado Kid says on the Gander of the Goose video, otherwise, a beautiful coin sale, but very disappointing that they didn't ensure that it was properly encased, especially for two ouncer. I'd call John and let him know. Maybe he can send you another one. He's been really good at murder. Yeah, return. Yeah, I think just the hassle. I'm sure he would probably replace it, but more than likely, he doesn't have any in stock at this point. Um, and, uh, but, uh, so kind of no point in doing them. Plus, the hassle of having to ship everything back, I'll just buy another one. And uh, yes, indeed, very good. Good to see you guys. We got other people rolling in here. Silver Stanger's here. Robin is here. Mark Medlin is here. NRCSLC is here. Donald Bump. Silver Bullet is here. Good to see you. Trump Be Cool is here. Welcome, guys. Dixie Silver Miner is here. Good to see you guys. Bobcat Bren. Uh, welcome to you guys all. Thank you for joining me here. Kuna Coin says, I like great coin. Thank you, Kuna. Yeah, I think it's a lovely coin. Uh, I'm going to try to get another one that does, it doesn't have any flaws. We'll see. But other people are saying that they've received them and they had flaws on their end, too. John, uh, Donald Bain C., the Draco is on too many cool coins. I purchased some, however, would purchase more if they had a better figurehead. Yes, well, <clears throat> I hear you. All right. And in time, the queen will pass on. And uh, Charles will be on there, and then people will complain about Charles being on the coin, but he won't be on there nearly for as many years as uh, Elizabeth, certainly. Stephen Grafham is here, hello, and Len D is here, hello, Len D, welcome. Good to see all you guys, all right, very good. Chad Lichtenstein says it probably was a coin that someone else sent back and they resold it to you, I hope not. Yeah, that's a... I uh, just went to Monument and they're sold out. Yeah, they haven't had them in for a while. I actually had uh, did that video quite a while ago. But yes, indeed, tips don't buy them. There you go. That's right. Don't buy them. If they're if the premiums are too high, don't buy. There you go. That's the way you do it. If you're not comfortable with those premiums, and that's the simple solution. Exactly right. Very good. John Drake says, getting ready for a perfect storm. Just bought another 20 Silver Eagles. Looks like your goose is loose. Yes, indeed. And we'll see what that uh, the calculus is like on the where things are going. That's why we do these Sunday night market watches to see if there's anything that could happen. Uh, indeed. Duck, duck, nice coin. No goose. Duck, duck, goose. All right, very good. Mark B is here. Hello, Mark B. Good to see you. All right. Let's see. Coin Collecting Fund says, I uh, love the quality and the details, both obverse and reverse. Yes, it is very well done indeed. Coin Collecting Fund, thank you. Brian Cameron, $20 is equal to one ounce of gold, $1 is one ounce of silver, one penny is a piece of copper. That's right. That's roughly the uh, the exchange rates or the things was. We got, um, let's see here. All right, very good. Silver Wolverine. Yes, I, we will pass on. I hope just not this year. I hope not either. Hello, Grow Mechanic. Good to see you. All is one now is here. Pre-love silver. Yes, indeed. All right. All I need is just one of those uh, a kilo gold bars. Yes, me too. It would be nice to get one of those. But these, I think, are 400, 400 ounce bars in this stack there, if I'm not mistaken. Pete Whale says, I'm happy that I started stacking gold and silver two years ago. I wish I had started earlier. Yes, I hear you, but you know what? You did good. It's never too late to start, in my opinion. Guido Stacken says, they've sent me coins that were in a shared flip, so I think that was the case. First time I've ever seen this coin in hand. It looks awesome. Unfortunate about the scratch, though. Might snag one. Thanks for the share. 
Yeah, thank you, sir. And I, you know, if it's two ounce in a shared flip, that makes it even more um, troubling because they, they don't really stay in those flips because they're so thick, you know, very well. Mark Park refers to Mountie coin. It's also two ounces and it's an anniversary. Yes, I actually um, have unboxed those as well. Good to see you guys. All is one now is here. Donald New Mexico is here. Winter Wolf is here. All right, let's see. A loose goose. Yes, indeed, uh, Richard Forrester. It was a loose goose. It wasn't a spruce loose goose either. The slurp in your honor here. Mm. Okay. Still a good looking goose coin. Yes, Adrian, I agree. I like the looks of this coin. I like that reverse proof look to this. This might be the first two ouncer pa for with that style, with that finish. I mean, Richard Forrester says, beautiful coin. Other than the scratches, that's a pretty bad cut in Queen Elizabeth's cheek as well. Yeah, there's some scrapes in her cheek too. Yeah, it's crazy. Um, I didn't even mention those. It's purely bullion. I guess it's okay, but since it's a reverse proof finish, my guess is there's a premium for this piece and you deserve a better specimen. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to try, try to get a source another one, I think, and have that one as just one that I just fondle. Which I wouldn't be so bad. I like fondling silver from time to time, you know what I mean? Mm. Daniel Boulder Lamb says they use paper silver to manipulate the real price of silver that at the, the moment is around $28 USD. That way you have a huge loss at $14 US. Yes, if I were to sell it, that's true. Stephen, no Sunday scammers. They never answer the phone on Sundays. It's almost a lost cause to try to call them. I've tried it many times. It doesn't seem like... Uh, Seem like anybody answers on a Sunday. It would be nice, but uh, yeah. Mr. Egg Shan, cream of some young guy. It's a rumor you're retiring next month. Congratulations. No. Wrong rumor. I'm staying here. I'm here. Centuri's here. Hello, Centuri. Good to see you. Lightsaber is here. And Stephen. The one and the only Stephen from Yorkshire, Terry. Yorkshire. Yes, in Sheffield. The one and the only Stephen Heath, the man. Yes, he is. Good to see, Stephen. All right. Fiat Destroyer says, wow, that is one thick goose. Sure is. One thick goose. That's what she said. Acrobatic Jesus says, man, it would be awesome to see you do an update on your stack. I want to see all that silver, baby. Well, um, uh, Acrobatic Jesus, uh, this is not my stack that I showed. I wish it were. That would be nice, but that is not my stack. But I, if you want to see the closest thing to a full stack video, check out Search my videos for Tower of Power. Yes, uh, silver stacking. I build up a silver tower. Yes, indeed. All right, let's see here. Silver uh, britches. I got one myself and love it. I wouldn't got. Uh, I wouldn't get more of them. All right, very cool. Wish I would have got. I wish I would have got more of them. Yes, me too. Yes, it is cool. Cool coin indeed. Cash and coins. Love the goose. Thank you, Sullivan Metal. Thank you so much. All right, Days and Confused stackers here. Hello, Days and Confused. Good to see you, sir. All right, Repeat Day 74 is here. Good to see you. All right, we're going to go through a couple more of these, and we're going to check the markets as they open up. Rothschild brings fear. AR-15 brings courage. That it does. Uh, Jay Dong Kim, if you don't like it, I will buy it. Ha <laughs> there you go. All right, well, hey. I could source another one, you know. All right, let's see here. All right, Christopher Sanchez, duck, duck, gray duck. Yes, indeed, gray duck. Not a black duck or black swan, but yes, indeed. Okay, milled steel says, nice coin. It could even be a scratch from the men. I wouldn't uh, bother returning. I doubt they have any left in the stock anyway. Yeah, they don't. I know that for a fact, and other people have mentioned they've got some with scratches on them too. Florida Stacker says, that's terrific. The Platinum Stack grows for the 2020 Platinum Frenzy video. Silver Cat says, wow, I really like that one. I'll probably do a two of them. Thanks for the show. Yes, two would be cool. Can you imagine? All right, very good. Uh, Tricky Guy says, I hear repeating sound like a very distant foghorn. Foghorn. Really? Let me, let me see if I can monitor it. Let me see here. Other people have mentioned they've got some with scratches on them, too. Florida Stacker says, that's terrific. The Platinum Stack grows for the 2020 Platinum. Friend. I don't hear it. I just was listening to the audio. I don't hear a repeating sound. Does anybody else hear one? Uh, hello, Barbara. Good to see you. Barbara Carbone. 
I'm going to turn on my speaker volume just in case, but nothing's coming through the other thing here. I'm going to actually turn that back a bit just to make sure that's not echoing through. But I don't think... It's like a hard drive grinding periodically. That might be my hard drive grinding periodically, perhaps. Sorry about that. Let's see here. Kalonic Sacker, Battle of the Adams, vocalist, guitarist Brian Adams versus U.S. Surgeon General Jerome Adams. Oh, man, I tell you what. Uh, you know, I'm not a huge Brian Adams fan, but he has talent. I do give him that. But I'm going to have to go with Surgeon General Jerome Adams. He's got a lot on his shoulders these days. And so I'm going to go with Jerome Adams, the U.S. Surgeon General. Yes, indeed. Buzzing now. Nevada Stacker, good to see you. Hello. Hopefully it isn't too bad. Because I don't hear it on my end when I listen through back here. Oh, man, I tell you what. Uh, you know, I'm not a huge Brian Adams. I don't hear it at all on my end. No buzzing. Grow Mechanic says it sounds great to him. Okay. That's what she said. There you go, Barbara. Very good. They're messing with me. Yeah, I, when it comes to technical stuff, guys, I prefer you not mess with me on that stuff. Because, uh, yeah, I mean, it's okay to have to joke around. But in terms of technical stuff, anything that's going to interrupt the flow of the broadcast, I'd rather you not do that. Um, if you are joking, if you're, if you're serious and really this, and that's, that's another thing. But that's one thing. I'd rather you not joke about, because I do have some issue, issues with my uh, streaming sometimes. It cuts off and things like that, and I don't want to be uh, crying wolf and stuff like that. But anyways, all right, very good. William Fender says, I would take it, uh, scratch and all. It was destiny, so keep stacking. There you go. All right. Yes, indeed. All right, well, I'm going to keep it. CCT says, that's good for the goose. Is good for the, What's good for the goose good for the candor. I'm sure it won't... Get that, but uh, I'm sure many won't get that. But it shows I haven't lost my sense of humor in these trying times. That's right, you sure haven't. CCT, sometimes we have to laugh at things for sure. All right, BNB &B is here. Hello, BNB, &B. good to see you. Napalm Death is here, Vegas representing. Very cool. Has the British death metal grindcore band ever been to Vegas? Have you ever seen them in Vegas? Oh, Barney growling over there. Chomp the socialist death metal band. All right. Uh, let's see here. Rob went to the bank and got five brand new $100 bills with Timothy Geithner on them in 2009. I guess they were left over from the last stimulus. Yeah, there you go. Yes, indeed. Lightsaber loves the channel. Thank you so much. Very good. All right. Uh, let's see here. Okay. High Desert Pioneer says, from what I've seen, mining in Nevada is still going on. Not sure at what level, but still operational. Yeah. Um, yeah, I imagine not all mining has stopped. And, uh, but yeah, Mexico, it sounds like it is, though. But we'll see. There may even be some mines operating in Mexico still, too. Okay. See more butts? Send it back. I had two Royal Mounted Police from... Bay Precious Metals and sent a pick as both had scratches and they replaced them. It's two ounce silver and will command a premium like the Queen's Beast two ounce line of Mortimer, for instance. See below as many will jump on that coin. All right. Yes, indeed. Well, I think it's too late for me to send that thing back now. Savage Stacker is here. Hello, Savage Stacker. Good to see you. Chiefly Chieftain made it to a Sunday night watch. Very good. One more comment and we're going to check out the uh, the markets. You got yours for less than two bucks under mine. Good hunting. Very cool. All right. Nice. Nice. Well, you did good at two bucks over. Now let's see what the markets are doing here in Asia. The Asian markets are opened right now. And so far, a tepid increase with gold and silver with the platinum group metals down or level. So gold is up a dollar. Silver is up four cents. Platinum is down $1, and Palladium is down $23, but still well above gold, Palladium is, at $2,268. So, out of the starting gate, we're seeing uh, just a little bit of movement here. Not much to speak on, but that's where the market stands right now. And, uh, as you know, other than the past, I think, two weeks, before that, it was very volatile coming out of these Sunday night market watches market watches when we watch the the uh, the precious metal markets move sporadically here and uh yes indeed the market is a comedy show says alex miles yes that's right it sure is it's something else to behold 
And you know, and it's not that Kitco really provides the most um, accurate at times, at least it's sporadic. They're glitchy. They're awful glitchy at times. Uh, but uh, nonetheless, they are uh, one of these uh, uh, that report and show all the metals together, which I like. Most other sites don't do that in such a way. Um, so there you go. And it's probably the most viewed and looked at, but nonetheless, we'll get back to that momentarily. Derek Kinneman says it's just a bunch, hunch, but I think we will have a small window of semi-normal prices before they go way up. I'm going to ride this out, and if prices become favorable, I'm going to jump in on it. Favorable prices are relative, are relative now. I think we have entered a new era. I like your video. Well, thanks, Derry. Well uh, thought out, and I think that's right. Sometimes it's good to wait, for sure. Patience is key. And uh, yes, indeed. All right, very good. Kendall Kid is here. Donald New Mexico is here. Good to see you guys. All right. Ah. Greg Speth says, Mexico is letting COVID-19 go. They are doing herd immunity. The race will become stronger. Okay, interesting. All right. Siegfried Schlag says, Hi, Vranding Dark Führer, das tolle Video. Wir nächsten dir an nach Schlaschen lag ich nie. Pasch und Dorf auf und das Dicken sind ihr Fans uns nie. Leder auf 15 an Mediane. Well, the only answer I have to that is, in other words, I have no clue what you just said, but I understood the word video, but thanks. I, I hope that means you like the video. Sounds like you do. Thank you so much, Siegfried. I'm guessing the tone of your of your comment here is a thumbs up, an A-OK, -okay, and a bell notification, so that's good. Thank you, Siegfried. Bear Hollow, just watch the Jim Rogers vid. He holds a lot of gold and silver. He likes both. But he just said that a historic ratio that has never uh, been seen since biblical times have to buy silver. There you go from the legend, no less. Well, yeah, I mean, uh, <clears throat> that would make sense on the surface, but um, I don't know that we'll really ever get there, um, at least to the normal ratios that we've seen in the past, because I think even in the physical markets, more people are seeing silver as an industrial metal. I mean, it is. Uh, in industrial metal. There's no question about that. Um, but we are seeing some increased demand in the physical markets for, in, the, in terms of uh, bullion, coins, and rounds. But will it be enough to, uh, for, that, for that demand increase to offset that ratio? I don't know. I don't know. That's right. Okay, let's see here. Silver Honda. I like this goose coin. It's simply designed... It's a simple design, not busy. Two ounces from a scratch. I would complain, yes. Well, I ended up not complaining, but that's all right. Okay, let's see here. Grow Mechanic says, we've been ordering it for a couple of days now. 99 minimum order is more like it. Buying gold now, no silver. Okay, Grow Mechanic, very good. Nice. Yes, it's good to see that minimum order uh, lowered for sure. All right, very good. Sprachen Sie Deutsch. Yes, indeed. Simon Middleton. I got 40 ounces of silver and two one gram gold bars. My biggest purchase so far in metal. Hopefully, I can pick it up when they let us out of our homes. Yes, indeed. I hear you. Hope so, too. Ghost Punk 639 for melt value. Late. Future, it's fine. For keeps, it sucks. Yes. That's why I want to get another one. Have that one as a as a you know, crazy hold piece or something. We'll see. Hi, Steve is here. Herb Ash is here. Slow Death is here. FT Performance Lab is here. 90 ounce of generic silver for one ounce of gold eagle. Thoughts? Um, might not be a bad move. I mean, if you feel like you have enough silver, um, you know, and you're running out of storage space, it's probably a good move. Um, especially if you can get it at 90 to 1. But I don't know who's going to give it to you at 90 to 1. When the ratio is, is, but, you know, but I, you know, it's, I don't know, we'll see. All right, let's see here. Scratchy audio. Oh, man, let's see. So that's, you guys oh, aren't just old eagle thoughts. Um, might not be a bad move. I mean, if you feel like you have enough silver, um, you know. I'm not hearing it on my end. I'm not hearing scratchy audio. Please, guys, if you're, I hope you're not joking with me, but I would, uh, Set your quality up, maybe. Make sure it's at 720. 
Uh, let's see, but everybody else is saying that it's okay. So, all right, very good. Stacker2020 says it's a lovely coin. Shame it was loose and scratched. I've got a tube on order. All right, wow. How many of these come in a tube? I would assume 10, maybe, but I don't know. Very good. All right, stacking and packing is here. Hello, stacking. Mark B says volume is good for him. Okay, good. All right, thanks, Mark B. All right, uh, Gentle Men's Channel. Hey, where are you from? I'm from Bangladesh as well. I need to find the guy and buy some silver from him. Uh, this is an older video, and that's not uh, for sale. Uh, please give me the address of that place so I can check out sometime. Well, if you're not in the United States, at no point does it give you to uh, give you the address, even if he did sell. But uh, yeah, if you're in Bangladesh, uh, you're not going to be traveling anytime soon anyway, probably. But anyways, all right. Okay, let's see here. That just Sal's voice is scratchy. That's right. It's okay. Russ is here. Avenger Ice. Did cut out a little. It's okay now. Very good. Okay. Stacking Stormtrooper. Hey, he pops in here with the $4.99 Super Chat. Thank you so much. You know the deal. Cooking right now. Tending the mini troopers. Just texted you an article. Talk tomorrow. Very cool. Thank you so much. Audios. Thank you, my friend. Have a good one. And uh, check out Stacking Stormtrooper. He's got a website. And he actually is selling some silver now. He does his auctions, but he also sells some silver, too, on his website, stackingstormtrooper.com. Silver Wolverine, I'm going to call up my LCS and see if I can get $25 an ounce for my silver. There you go. See if they'll do it. I doubt very seriously we'll have much luck there, but anyways. All right. All right. Let's see here. OBX Silver Surfer with $2 Super Chat. Thank you so much, my friend. I appreciate that. Very kind of you. It certainly does help. Appreciate that, my friend. Okay, let's see here. Okay, where are we at? Okay, the goose is loose. That it is, tippy top. It is a loose goose. It's loose goosey. Gary T says, I'm glad I bought <clears throat> while metals were affordable, mines were open. Now it's unobtainium for the most part, unless it's peons that want to pay double spot. <clears throat> yep, that's right. All right. Speaking of spot, let's see what spot price is doing right now. Look at that. Gold is taking a hit at this moment. Now it's not down a whole lot, but it's down $10.80. So when we first checked the markets just after 6 Eastern time, well, gold and silver are up slightly, but now they're down a little bit. So gold is down 0.67% and silver is down less at 0.49%, down $0.07 cents to $14.40. And uh Let's see here. And platinum is down $3. And palladium is up $2. Very good. Okay, let's see here. Uh, hello, Endgard Macht, Macht. Good to see you. Good to see you. Herva Middleton. Hey, Sal. How are you doing? If I get $1,200, I'm going to sit back, buy me a ticket to Ireland, and find me a leprechaun and demand if he gives me his crock of gold. There you go. It's a wise thing. There you go. Yes, indeed. So if, you can get, if you can find a flight that would take you there, you know. So there's the markets. They're down a little bit. Palladium's up just $2 there. It's almost like they reversed because palladium was down. It was up, but yeah, it's crazy. Okay. Let's get back here to the channel comments. We've got Johnny O says, Craftsmanship on the wings is outstanding. I still like the pulsating maple leaf the best even when the queen's picture on the back side. And technically, that's the front side, Johnny O. And uh, if you want to see a video of me reviewing that coin, you can just search pulsating maple on my videos, and uh, you will see it pulsating. That's what she said. All right. Jenny Jensen says, beautiful coin. Is this coin still available? Good luck finding it. I don't know. Uh, I've not been able to see it anywhere on sale because I did want to get another one. All right. Very good. All right. Oh, man. OBX Silver Silver Server better unleash the gold envelope. Yes, indeed. We're going to do another gold envelope challenge video coming up very soon. Savage Stacker, been out of work for three weeks now. It's starting to get real. I just need some good news right now. I don't really want more government money, even though I'll take it, of course. I just want things to get back to normal. I haven't lost my job. I have to stay home because my children are out of school for the rest of the dang year. 
Oh man, I'm sorry. Yes, I know he did talk about that in his latest video, and I'm sorry about that, Savage Stacker. Praying for you, buddy. I hope things return to normal soon. You're playing it smart, though. All right, very good. So we've got 122 here as we watch the markets. 34 thumbs up. Let's see what the markets are doing right now. Uh, they're they're down just slightly. Um, uh, and actually, silver is taking a bigger hit right now as we watch the markets. Uh, but gold is down $11.30. Silver is down $0.17. Cents. Platinum is down $4. And palladium is up $2. So yes, indeed. Hello, Ozzy Alchemist. It's a good morning to you. How you doing? Good to see you, my friend. Silverholic. What have you... Uh, what... You have one of those. I'm really jealous now. I'm trying to think of what one is in there. Let's see here. Am I the only one that who mutes sell to concentrate on the live chat? Yes. Maybe so. Maybe so. That's all right. Black, red, silver bug. SD Bullion, $8 premium. Okay, so SD Bullion has one for $44. Okay. Very good. Thank you. CCT is here. All right. Repeat day 74, no way. I, if I miss some of you guys' comments in the, in the chat, it's because I'm watching the comments over here and the markets, but I'll try to catch them. If you want to get my attention, just type my name out as it's spelled on my channel with no space, and it'll light up red, and I'll have a, 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 a greater chance of seeing it. Not Can't make any promises, but a much better chance of seeing it there. Very nice, but not going after uh, nice right now. Just looking for deals. There you go. Yes, it's probably a good time to try to find the lowest premiums um, as possible. That's not how I roll. I buy the coins I like and enjoy because um, I'm not really a stacker, per se, uh, except for maybe gold. I might be a stacker of gold, but, um, but yeah, but the silver ones, I just, I just collect because I enjoy it. Talk about the pulsating maple leaf. Okay, yeah, the pulsating maple leaf is cool. Silverholic. I reviewed that on my channel a while ago. If you search for, um, uh, if you search my channel for pulsating maple, you should see the review video. Yes, it's a cool coin. I love that coin. Silver Wolverine, nice thick coin. Too bad about the scratch capsule. Would have been nice. Yes. All right, but it sounds like they don't come in capsules. The other channel I saw that has. Hey, Pamela Rice is here. We've missed you, Pamela. Can't be with you tonight. I'm quite well. Have to go. I'm good. God bless you. Good. All right. All right. Yes. And thank you so much for checking in. Peace and love. I'm, I'm glad you're doing well. Stay safe. She's in the heart of the uh, of the of the battle zone for uh, the coronavirus center there in New York City. Mm. Yes, indeed. Okay, let's see. Graham Diamond says, We'll be interested to see what happens in the coming weeks. Very informative video, Sal. So keep keep up the good work. Thank you, Graham. I will appreciate that. I will try my best. And viewers like you certainly inspire me to continue to press on. I appreciate that. Nothing better than four nines find silver, says Joe. I agree with that. And that is four nines find silver. That it is. The purest of the pure, other than five nines pure silver. Okay. Okay, I'm busy with my business. Everything shut down in the city. Yes, indeed. Yes, I hear you. Wow. Okay. Uh, Jay Corona 984 says, I think I'd rather have milk spots than a giant scratch or gash after losing a knife fight. Yeah, no, I hear you. It's tough. All the milk spots, you really can't get out without scratching the coin, unfortunately. Oh, yes, Silver Wolverine. Yes, uh, Michigan is number three. Um, so there, he's in a hot spot, too. So praying for Silver Wolverine. And anybody in the New York area, like Barbara Carbone, um, others who are in New York, uh, be careful. Be safe. Uh, stay indoors as much as possible. Well, stay away from other people. You can go outdoors, but I digress. This thing is very, very contagious. William Lanucci says, um, you're one funny dude, Sal. Uh, I get the underlying message of check, 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 silver and gold is money. It's a constitution and a story. ETF stands for end the fraud and put the owners therefore in jail, meaning one of those who are against we the people. There you go. All right. Yes, indeed. Thank you, sir. Crap. I just copied that crap. Dang it. Let me take it. I get this again. 
Come on. Gotta grab it. Dang it. Let me get it from somewhere else. Gotta get it from somewhere else, people. Uh, where is it? It's gonna take hours for me to get this back. It's gonna take hours, people. Hours, I said. Hours. Seems like hours anyway. There it is. I hate that. I hate that. All right, let's see here. Yankee knows how to get rid of milk spots. Not abrasive. Um, yeah, there must be some compound. I don't know. But either way, it's, uh, how does he do it? An eraser? Solution of some sort? But I don't know. <clears throat> Christopher Zerr. Is the Royal uh, Canadian Mint supposed to go back to work tomorrow? Monday, April 6th? I don't know. Is that, that will be the two weeks, I guess? Or is next week the two weeks? My guess is probably not. Okay, let's see here. John Knapp is here. Let's see here. Such a beautiful coin. I put an order in with Silver Gold Bowl three weeks ago. And this coin was in and out of my cart. I left it out at the end because I was overextending my means since I was picking a bunch of junk silver. Now they're sold out and have a huge regret. Well, Leroy, they will make more. And this thing will be over in due course, and hopefully we will find one for a good price. But anyways. Okay, let's see here. Ozzy Alchemist says solution, but what is a solution? All right, to get rid of milk spots. Vanessa says, uh, I like the punt in the title. I think it's a nice coin as well. It's a simple design, but it works. It doesn't need any fanfare. The goose is enough. However, Canadian geese are jerks. I should make a cartoon of one. I have an idea for now. As for the portrait of the queen, I honestly like it. It's a cartoon style, which is odd for a world coin. You don't see that often, yes. Um, well, and we've seen it often since 2004. But yes, I hear you. All right, let's see. Your native stacker is here. Hello, good to see you. All right. Ah, very good. Where are we at? Okay, John Smith says, I get mixed messages from a lot of these gold channels, not yours. On one hand, they spend 10 seconds giving the obligatory precious metals at risk and should only be 5 to 20% of your portfolio statement. They then spend the next 20 minutes of the video subtly preying on your weakness, implying that 100% needs to go to them. Yes, yes, I, I want to be very careful not to do that. Um, but thank you, John Smith. We do see that. I think it's sort of like a like a uh, obligatory uh, disclaimer where people say that. But I I try to uh, be consistent with the messaging on it um, because you know if you think about it, even. 2% or 1% of your portfolio is better than most people out there. So you really can't go wrong with what little. But I think the biggest thing, the biggest message that the stacking community needs to have is, needs to know, or which I think most of us do, is that to not to overextend yourself um, when buying anything, but especially precious metals, because that kind of defeats the purpose. Because if you're paying a, um, a high premium, like right now, and you're going into debt to do it, then you're paying on that for quite some time uh, in the term of interest rates, essentially feeding the banks. Um, and we don't want to do that if, we, if at all possible. Yes, indeed. All right, Le Petit Silver gives a thumbs up. Thank you for that. Oh, baby, says Merrick on this video. Three factors that will drive the price of gold higher. Thank you so much. Pulled out some gold for that one if you have any chance to see it. Pretty good. About seven ounces of gold showing there in that one. Silver Steeler. I love the thick two-ounce coins. My current favorite weight. I'm not sure about the quality control. It seems of late it's taken its take or leave it since supply is tight. I don't care for that philosophy. No, I hear you, Silver Steeler. I'm with you on that. Thank you, sir. All right. Let's pause now for the markets and see what they are doing. Uh, there's a modest dip, uh, looks like, as a general rule. As we started out, they, they were up only slightly. And now for the past, uh, you know, 10 or so, 10 or 15 minutes or so, they've been down a little bit, marginally. Less than hundred, less than 1% on each metal except for palladium is holding steady at $2 up. 
So yes, indeed. All right, let's get back here. So the market, not a whole lot of uh, activity here. I think a lot of things could change um, in, in the week as we hear more job numbers and, um, and more things about the health of the economy and more, and more news on the coronavirus in terms of the spread, the deaths. We've got three hot spots now. Um, and uh, so, yeah, so we'll see how that plays out. All right. Very good. Ain't no cup of Joe. Excellent acumen as always, Sal. I think, to say the least, the world will be an interesting in the land of 2020. You touched up on QE and the infinity money cheat, and I couldn't agree more. Trillions of dollars in the past week alone. We also know there's going to be more bailouts and things of the sort on the way. Stay safe and healthy. Yes, I know. They're talking about another fourth stimulus. Kind of hard to keep track of them, you know? And uh, it's like, man, where do we stop? It's crazy. All right. Ah, okay. <clears throat> Every time PMs drop, you must do some push-ups. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Uh, I should. I'll do that. If they drop over 1%, I'll do some push-ups. Jenny, hello, my sa hello, Sal, my pal. Hello to you, Jenny. Good to see you. Okay. Okay, let's see here. Good to see all you guys, by the way. We got 121 watching right now. Appreciate you guys. We got three thumbs down. Dang. Some people don't like me, I guess. And 51 thumbs up. All right. BMB, hello, Mr. Sal. Why only gold? Why silver not? Well, I have silver. I've got enough silver. Um, but I think, in a way, the gold market <clears throat> is less um, affected by the uh, COMEX and by the by what's been going on. And so I think that we're seeing a little bit more of a reality in terms of the paper price with gold than we are with silver. But there's still that big spread, too. All right, indeed. Silver Wolverine says, finding anything at a good price is hard, except gas. Gas is on sale, but it's not a good thing. Yes, you're right. That's true. Gas is doing good. I need to get some for my lawnmower before it goes back up again. Uh, Teta Lestai says, the Peruvian Sol's goal, Sole's coin is great. Thank you so much. You noticed. Very cool. All right. Joe says, uh, since silver is overpriced, where can one find it? I switched over to gold and bought during the recent dip at Gainesville Coins. And they won't be shipping my 1550-ounce spot gold until 415. If you go to my, their website now, they have sold out of everything. But that's okay. It has now risen above my budget limit. Yes, I hope you get that gold soon. But you made a price, a, a, a purchase at the right time for sure. Well, great timing. Good to see everybody here in the chat. We've got Repeat Day 74, Jenny Hansen, Native Stacker, Juan Martinez, uh, John Knapp, Captain Ron Hayward is here, Carlos Danger is here, and Kendall Kidd is here. All right. Good to see all you guys. Great video, South says Kuna Coins. Thank you so much, Kuna. Appreciate that. Appreciate that very much. Uh, Russ Sherwood says, looks like I better get some mining equipment built up so I can start prospecting when the thaw comes around. Nice and beautiful stack of the shiny stuff you have. Be blessed, be safe. Thank you so much. Appreciate that. All right. Thanks, Russ. Glenn D says, gold, gold, your boat gently, gold, 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 your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, merrily, silverly, silvery, silvery, silvery. Life is but a dream. All right. Darius Patel, gold will be $1,100 and silver will be $35. Wow. What a bold prediction. We shall see. Boy, that would be something to see. Scrapper says gold is overpriced compared to platinum and silver and should fall uh, or the other metals need to catch up. Yes. All right. All right. Silver Steeler kicks himself in the butt for not having more gold in my stack. That being said, the price is starting to get out of reach for me. I feel like gold could be a bargain right now, but I still can't afford it. Has the train left me? Oh, it's a good question. I And I feel your plight, my friend. I'm not sure. Um, it's hard to say. I'm thinking it might be a bargain right now, too, because of a recent purchase I made. 
uh, which I will get to on the on the other video I made about cheating on the gold envelope challenge. Eric, our resident bouncer, is here. He says, any thoughts on the spread between the bid and ask price widening from $0.10 cents to $0.20 cents in the last week or so? I think that is completely due to the... Uh, to the uh, to the markets, uh, to the craziness of the markets and the volatility, uh, been at ten to twenty cents. Well, here we see a ten cent between for silver and gold. We're back to one dollar, but uh, rhodium is down, and but it's still you know a three uh, you know a three thousand dollar spread between rhodium. You see, not be that high. It's a hundred dollar spread, hundred plus dollar spread for palladium. And uh, for platinum, it's a $5 spread. So, yeah, I think it's due to the volatility of the markets. But good question, Eric. Yes, indeed. All right. Chief Lechitzen said, Sal, you have a nice mix of gold there. I like to keep a variety of gold as well. Very good, Chief. Yes, indeed. Very good. Slurps for Barbara. Let's see here. I need to market the checks. All right, stacking and packing in the middle. Not Malcolm in the middle, stacking in the middle. Packing in the middle. CCT, I must be getting old because I don't like the digital version of anything, especially gold. I'm kind of the same way. If I'm going to buy gold, I'm going to hold it in my hand. I'm going to hold it, touch it, feel it. Well, actually, I don't touch my gold. I need to get a gold piece that I can just fondle and caress, like this platinum piece I got here. Platinum. I.B. Goliath says, long gold, nothing else compares. Many ask me what price I would sell my gold. I say $1 million per ounce. Or if my brethren are starving, it is to me a way to help those that can't help themselves. All right, I.B. Goliath, very good. Very noble and kind of you indeed. Guy Brock says, ETFs are fiat, no different from Federal Reserve notes. Back by nothing, you can't hold it, you don't own it. And, if, and it may not exist at all only on paper that's true that's the fear that's the that's the feeling because they're not really tested um exactly do it to it if you don't hold it you don't own it that's right and johnny o gives thumbs up on this video thank you johnny 1300 maybe he's 1300 so the price that that uh cct is waiting for gold to get down to before he buys Hawaii silver, not the metal of fear. It's the metal of God. There you go. Gods of metal. I think that's a Judas Priest song. Ah, let's see here. Philip Quinn, gold will be a perma bowl for me. Perma bowl for a long time. Yes. I think it very well could be. I'm kind of bullish on gold, too. And silver, too, by the way. I'm bullish on silver. All this one now is tired of feeding himself. Oh, my goodness. All right. Let's see. Stacking a packet. I don't base my opinions upon the thought of gold as an investment. I try to never say the price of gold. I always try to say the exchange rate of gold. This helps to start putting gold in the minds of people as money. Uh, when you leave the illusion of gold being a commodity, you start to understand gold's real place. And, well, fiat has a troll, but all fiat has to answer to gold across the globe. You know, in theory, in, um, I agree with that ideologically, um, and uh, I think you're right. It is sort of an exchange rate, for sure, because gold is the ultimate money as a tier one asset, so that's a good comment, Stack and Pack, and appreciate it. Ain't no cup, Joe. Thank you so much for running right now. Thanks for being here. Thanks for that super chat, my friend. Yes, very kind indeed. All right, I appreciate that. All right. CCT, Igor, and I am both... Had a fondle of my 1885 gold $5 the other day. Had to watch a few Westerns afterwards. Yes, history in your hands. And that is right around the, the time of the Wild Wild West was really ripping and roaring. 1885. Yes, indeed. That's awesome. All right, Michael Martin, you're awesome. You're the man. I appreciate you. Mutswat, I maybe have enough gold for a fancy steak dinner. There you go. That's cool. At the start, and maybe he will be here and he'll say salivate metal here, whatever he says when he comes on board. Tricky guy says if they come out with a vaccine that is mandatory, uh, do you get poked? If they come out with global fiat, do you simply switch over? Ooh, that's a good question. It's a tough question. I don't know that I would take the vaccine if it was mandatory. 
I'm not really big, you know, I don't know. It's, that's a tough one. Um, and uh, I worry about some vaccines. I'm sure a lot of them are safe. Um, but unless it's really vetted, I don't know. But anyways, a lot of V's. A lot of V's. I haven't had the V problem for a while. Thank you, Cup Joe. Appreciate you. Victor Frankenstein says, I hope gold goes does reach 2000 level because that would mean that silver would certainly reach for the $50 level again. At those prices, you better sell, sell, sell. You can always buy it back when it returns to $15 to $17 again. Yeah, but I don't think that gold going to 2000 means that silver will get to 50 I think we'd be lucky to see it go to 25 at the at that rate of growth, but that's just me. Silver Britches says gold was too expensive uh, a decade ago. People say it's too expensive now. Where will it be 10 years from now? I'm buying gold. That's a good point. Um, it's a good point. Gold really has done a better job, I think, at, at holding its own uh, compared to silver as of late. Even in the physical markets, I will even say that. And, and silver is being sought after, but I think it's going to take a lot more than the current demand. It's got to be a sustained demand because I did talk about that and what could be the catalyst to bring gold to silver ratio down to 20 to 1, and it would be that sustained demand. Let's take a look at the markets right now because we know that I love to check the markets. And gold is down 0.48%, $7.80 drop. Silver is down 0.31% of four cent drops, so and not a whole lot of movement. Platinum is down two bucks, so not quite at one percent yet. And if they go, if there's a more than a one percent drop in these metals, then I will drop and give you 20 push-ups. That's right. I will give you 20 push-ups if it goes below one percent. I hope it does, because I really want to do those push-ups, guys. I really do want to go. Silver britches, toilet paper to the moon. There you go, brother. Yes, indeed. All right, Kendall Kid has just confessed to a crime, uh, but we will not hold that for state's evidence. He he admitted just now to shooting the sheriff, uh, but apparently he did not take a shot or shoot the deputy. You know, I'm gonna maybe he tried to kill the deputy, but he, maybe he. Uh, Maybe he missed. I don't know. Maybe there was an attempted murder on that, but he did confess to killing a sheriff. I don't know what sheriff it was, but uh, indeed. All right, let's see here. This is an aggressor. I'm also inert. I have been, I've had a few beers. There you go. All right. Sal, that's a nice stack over 7.5 ounces. All right, he counted there. Very good. I knew it was somewhere over 7 ounces, but I wasn't quite sure. Thank you so much, my friend. Stacking for Life says... Did the cat take the kangaroo out of the capsule? The debt clock has gold at $17,803 as of this morning. No, I took it out carefully and put it back in the capsule. Ah, he stabbed the deputy, says Eric. That's what happened. He stabbed the deputy. All right. Uh, oh, man, Stephen Graham Grafham says that uh, NOLA, uh, that's New Orleans, has two times the death rate of New York. Ooh, that's, that's not good. Oh, man. That is not good. Praying for those people. Okay. Easy Tech says, I like the buy and hold stock strategy. Just apply it to gold. There you go. Yes, indeed. Diversify friends. Diversify, says Coins A to Z. That's right. Very good. El Por No. He just shot the sheriff up with a vaccine. The deputy doesn't want it. That's right. There you go. El porno. Indrakt, Makt, Makt. South African ran down like mad. I am up 46.55% of my 107.4 uh, ounce gold stack. Wow. That's crazy. Yeah, there's some political strife in uh, in uh, South Africa right now. For sure. How long does it take to remove a milk spot by making a coin? Your pocket piece. Oh, man. It's a good question. Depends how deep the spot is. Yes, indeed. Silver Honda. Love your commentary videos. I wish that I bought more gold than silver this past year. And no worries, my friend. There's always time to buy some more gold. Hope you can get some more. All right. Let's see here. 
Uh, Jidong Kim, I hope so. My silver is getting too heavy. Get more gold now. Plus, it takes up less space. You pack a lot of value in a smaller space. That's kind of one of my main reasons for doing for getting more gold. Carlos Danger says, government regulation is, of holding gold is the only thing that will slow it down. We might see all the economic cycles in the coming few e uh, economic quarters. Yes, we shall see. Thanks, Carlos. I think he was here earlier. I'm not sure. Night Shad esque two to actually get to actually get the ring. Note to author: Get to the point. Do this on a table, not your lap in a truck. Use both hands. Put ten percent of your effort into production, please. Oh my goodness gracious! If only I could have uh, followed the advice of Nightshade Desk Two uh, with his videos. With his quality of videos, maybe we should be a little critical and see what he does for his videos. Oh my goodness gracious, if only we had the production acumen of this guy, maybe I could have a successful channel. You know, but hey, alas, not is to be the case. Poor me. Fiat Destroyer says, it's good to analyze whether we have a healthy fear when it comes to financial risk. That's true, Fiat Destroyer, very true. Hey, thanks, Barbara. Glad you enjoyed that. Be safe out there. Another slurp for Barbara. We're gonna do it right now. We're gonna, we're gonna sift it around here and then take a slurp. I wonder if I dipped my milk spotted coins in this coffee, what it would do. Hmm. You know what? That gives me an idea. Coffee does have acid in it. It does it not. Hmm. Might be a good experiment. We shall see. I have to remember that. Barbara, help me remember that. That's your task assignment. You know what I mean? As a former IRS or as an IRS, uh, somebody who is enforcement, emailed me to remind me that about coffee and milk spots. Let's see. Tricky guy. If they foist a global buck on us, how many of them for an ounce of silver? Oh, man. That is the question of the year or the of the century or of the millennia. It's hard to say. It depends on how they value that dollar. It really does. It may be half. It may be half of one of those new global dollars for one ounce of silver. But that, you know, you know what I mean? It's, it's hard, to, hard to tell. Or maybe a hundred, you know? It's kind of like the new Zimbabwe dollar that replaced the hundred trillion dollar bill from Zimbabwe. Not that that new dollar was much better than the old ten trillion dollar or the hundred trillion dollar note. All right. Thanks, Barbara. You're awesome. All right. I approve of this video. Thank you, Terry. Very kind. Can I get a hug? I want a, I want a social um, uh, closeness. Closeness. What's the, what's the ap opposite word for distance that sounds sophisticated? All right. We've got coffee tones paper. Good for the ZTFs. That it does. Silver Honda's here. Hello, Silver Honda. He drives a blue Honda. Yes, indeed. One of those other guys thought I drove a truck. It's crazy. Stephen Pack says, Gold, just like everything else, was created by nature. No God involved. Well, hey. All right, Stephen, Stephen Pack. That's your belief. I got mine. AGE or Buffalo. Eric Kells. Kisaluski. I'm going to say Buffalo. I like the Buffalo a little better. Let's take a look at the markets. What are they doing? Did God create embrace? There you go, El Porno. Let's do social embracing. I want social embracing. El Porno comes through. Thank you for that, my friend. Social embracing. I want to social embrace all of you ladies, indeed. And I want Barbara. I want an extra special hug from Barbara Carbone. <laughs> you know, I was going to be smart and say it's because you're in the middle of the COVID-19 zone and I don't want to catch anything, but I know you're clean. I'd, I'd be, it'd be worth it to get a hug from Barbara. Yes, indeed. Yes, I don't have a truck, man. I don't believe it. I don't have a truck. Now, I do have them on the bottom of my skateboard. Two of them. Two of them. Two trucks. Uh, <laughs> there you go. CCT, then. <laughs> That's right. Exactly right. CCT. Oh, my gosh. Press 1 if you wash your hands today. 
Let me press it. I'm practicing good hygiene. I and I took a. I also took my uh, uh, my bi-monthly shower today too. Yes, indeed, I took my bi-monthly shower. All right. So here's the markets now. Look at that. I'm safe from doing push-ups and it's piss a Um Gold is down just under a point five percent, or just over point five percent, half a percent. Silver just under a half percent drop, six cents. Platinum is down three bucks. Crazy. Okay, let's see here. Let's move back here. All right, let's see here. TKO, nice, Al. Nice, Ed, stack you showed. I'm looking to add some Indian head gold pieces to my stack. I like the looks of a $10 a piece. Yes. Cool. Thank you, TKO. Appreciate that. Very kind. Organize again says this is just the dollar to silver ratio. This doesn't mean $1,000 silver. That's exactly right. And if you watch that video, you'll note that I make that distinction. All right. Not misleading at all. You just have to read the language and read what it says. That's a beautiful pile of gold. Yes, thank you so much, Bob. Appreciate that kindness. All right. Silver Bullet says, Nice little stack you have, Sal. You should socially distance it so we can see it all. Thanks for the knowledgeable content. Thank you, Silver Bullet. Actually, I did zoom out a uh, ways at the very beginning of the video. For most of the video, it was zoomed out so you could see it all, but thank you so much. Great job with this video. It says Rigo Silver. Thank you, my friend. All right. All right. Good afternoon, Dove Season 9. Good to see you, sir. Welcome. Nevada Stackers here, or Nevada. Nevada is the correct way to say it, not Nevada, right? Uh, let's see here. Uh, Terry. <clears throat> Terry 79 cannot be nice anymore. It just can't happen. People who bully other people are cowardly people. Says Sup, SM. Good to see ya. Godhanjay says, These days I'm extra proud to be part of the Salvation Nation. My wife says we have done the right thing, buying lots of physical gold in 2014 to 2019. Nice. Good job. Well done, sir. Yes, indeed. Say hello to your lovely wife for me. Ah, oh, scratching my throat. <clears> throat. Ah. Let's see. Glenn D is here. More. He says, good to see Glenn D. PM Guy says, hi, Sal. And being that they can no longer deliver on one, two, or three contacts of gold, contracts of gold, wouldn't that be considered dead paper? Or at least of the ones that would stand for delivery? Seems to me that it should be, but uh, they'll never test that theory because the gold markets, gold ETFs, when you cash out a gold ETF or when you cash out a, a silver ETF, it is exactly that. You are not trading it for silver, trading it for gold, you're trading it for cash. And um, they buy that stuff as a sort of a, as a run, a hedge for that kind of thing. It's... Uh, um, it's a safe bet in the world of a normal market, but an SHTF type of scenario, which in a sense, some of this sort of is SHTF in the markets. Um, let's see here. Stacking and packing. Can you introduce me to that guy's wife? Let me scroll back down here. All right, Gold Hanj TJ. Let me introduce you to Stacking and Packing. Uh, he's a nice guy, but he hates Trump, so... But uh, I, but but he's a nice guy. Otherwise, he has he's a Second Amendment guy, so he can't be all bad. But all right, but there he is. So allow me to introduce you to him and uh, stacking and packing. This is Goad Hans T J E's wife, lovely lady right there. Let's take another slurp. Let's finish out this coffee right now. Here we go. Now we are going to. Transfer to water to chase it all down. That's right. That's what we do. That's how we do it. All right. Powell, K, K, K. K. We will be facing a real earthquake in two weeks. Don't worry. Well, I think that is pretty much predicted as far as the COVID 19. It's going to get worse before it gets better. Boy, I tell you what, that's scary. 
That's scary. Like your church ending church bell sound. Thank you, A-U-G-C-H. You watch to the end. I like to put little sneak sneak little things at the end of the videos to see if people are watching to the end. Not many people do watch to the end of the videos, but, you know, hey, very good. All right. <clears throat> There's a lot of that going around, just saying. Ooh, man. Good night, all you freaks. See you next time. Thank you, Silver Drill Pickle, for being here. I'm sorry if I didn't see you before, but thank you so much for being here, Silver Drill Pickle. Have a good night, my friend. Yes, indeed. All right. I'm, I'm Jad Ali. Hello, sir. How are you? I hope you are fine. Please tell me it's time to buy or sell. Well, Ali, only you can answer that question. Um, I'm Jad. And it was based off of your uh, situation. I would say it's definitely not time to sell. Um, but I think that it may not be the time to buy either, unless you have the budget to do so. Um, and can find some good deals where you are at. But I would say probably not the time to sell and may or not be the time to buy based off your budget. Mark B, very cool. Uncle Sal, take care. Be safe. Well, I hope you're being safe too, Mark uh, B. Yes, indeed. Good to see you, sir. Uh, Medium Man. Gee, Sal, that's a shame your coin came so beat up. Mine is, uh, is about to be mailed. Send them back and send them give them poopy. You're right about Susan Blunt's portrait of the queen. I have always disliked it. The Australians have the best one. I agree with that. Blend D says, uh, check your scammer call. Yeah, the scammers uh, don't answer the phone on Sundays, unfortunately. They do not. We've tried it with uh, reckless abandon and they don't answer. Oh boy, this is this crap. I hate when these things go through. <clears throat> and I wish it would delete it there. So we're going to delete that, remove that. And it's going to take a little bit of time. So let's check the markets while that's happening. All right. Will we get 1% so I can do some push-ups? No. Gold, just over a half percent. $9.40 drop. Silver is just under a half percent at $14.40. So not a whole lot of activity in the markets. Just slightly down. Just slightly down. Boy, this is taking a long time to delete that comment. So these markets are quite, um, you know, they're leveling off, it seems like, the last week or so. Silver's been hovering in the 14s over the last week. And uh, gold has been in the 16s, pretty much. Uh, well, I guess the beginning of last week they didn't, but, uh, you know, it's over $1,600 right now. There we go. Billy Garrett, down the road, society is never going to normalize. The world has changed, has changed for generations. I'm 100% physical gold over the past 18 months. I'm 40% tax-free, just a few dollars to pay random bills. Exactly, gold created by God. It's that simple. There you go. Thank you. Yes, indeed. Thank you, Billy D. First, a silver drill pickle, silver drill pickle on the Did I Cheat on the Golden Envelope Challenge video yes oh man yes cct i'm gonna probably be doing a video about that he's now changed his name to tom so it was tim same account it's tom and it is connected by the way too with some investigation work i've done on it and there's another new one we're gonna see it soon cct i know it's late but i hope you stick around because uh because the comic Com canadian is also tied in with uh tim or tom all right. Silver Han, I thought he was first, but really it was Silver Han, the Silver Drill Pickle. It was first, thanks, Silver Honda. Okay. Donna, New Mexico. Hey, Sal, how about the X Factor? Ooh, rated X. As long as it's not triple X, then we can stomach it, right? All right. Tomoko's Enterprise says, of course, I'm partial with these. Really? It's, it's, it's this place here. Why you got one marked up as a holy on the... Is holy on the shipper. Real shame. Okay, so he doesn't think it came from the mint that way. Thanks, Dean. I appreciate you. All right, where are we at? Okay, let's see here. We've got Silver Drop. Quit fondling that fiat. Yes, indeed. I'm fondling the fiat. I don't think it's got anything on it, so I think I'm safe. 
Calvin Cooper, I keep getting alert me notice. Might be buying more than I planned. All right. I guess some of the stock is getting filled in. We'll see how those premiums. I'm, okay, so here we go. This is the one. Now, I've already... So, CCT, I hope you're still here. Um, this is another account. And the way to check these guys is to go to the channel. And so, awesome content. Love this. Usually, it's a generic content uh, comment like that. And there are cases where people make generic comments like that. So, I wouldn't be quick to delete. The way to check is to go to the channel. And you can see that this is a channel that has one... That has this video and other videos that are tied to it or what have you. Um, and let's see how many videos they've got. they got one. They've got other videos on other platforms. And, uh, and so what do you do? You block and report the user. I blocked that user. And look at that. They're out of Malaysia. Feel free to do donate. So anything like that. You see this account, you know it's bad news. Bad news. And look, here is another one. If you follow the rabbit hole, you'll find other channels you can Hi, lock there, to. As you see my name. So here is this uh, channel. Okay, now that's the same channel. That's a different video, though. It's just weird. Oh, no, that's the same video. It's the same video. Yeah, so anyways, they're just now getting started. But anyway, so that is the way you deal with those. And then you can uh, delete them. Of course, it's a bot that's doing this. So it does the bot's not going to come and check that comment. But maybe others will see it. Uncompleted mine. Did not want to risk uh, gold not to be available. All the mints and mines are shutting down, so availability is going to dry up. That is part of why I made that purchase. I was worried a little bit about supply and the prices and stuff like that. Uh, Ozzy Alchemist is very close. Yes, that channel I don't know was, but it's very close. That how he got hacked or whatever. But yes. Okay, let's see here. Did you go down the rabbit hole on my channel? Ooh, man, Barbara Carbone, that's a good one. I did not, and I'd like to. Oh, my goodness gracious. Yes, indeed, I would like to. I'm on my way to Long Island right now. Yes, indeed, and my island is long for, for Barbara to cross the channel. Yes, indeed. All right, we'll leave that there. Uh, Randy Herbrixmeyer says, Uncle Donald buying me some gold. I've been wanting a month's paid vacation that's sorely needed. I've worked two months straight. Wow, one day off to get a pain shot in my hip. Ooh, time to relax. Hope my coin doesn't sell before I have the money I need. Thanks for keeping us in certain Uncle Sal. Thank you, Randy. Yes, hang in there, my friend. Sorry you had to get a pain shot in your hip. Man, yes, indeed. Okay, let's see here. All right, where are we at? Barbara Carbone says, Hi, Sal, I agree. It's not cheating. It's about priorities. Your cash for gold is growing nicely. I enjoy saving challenges. I have a few of my own. Very good. Nice. Always good to be fiscally responsible and have that little cushion there, and that's great. Barbara, that's awesome. Great picture of you, too. Patience held. You're buying gold. That's not a cheat. Oh, man. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Appreciate it. All right. That's why I'm going prospecting this spring, says Russ. Very good. Prospecting. Yes, indeed. Good way to get some gold. All right. SoCal Silver says, no time for envelope. Cash going straight to Facebook deals. Silver bugs, silver miners, and gold bugs. These guys have tons of great pieces up for grabs. Guess it doesn't matter how we do it as long as we're doing it. There you go. That's right. There you go. If you can find some good deals, capitalize on them as you can for sure. All right. Let's see here. Uh, cheater, cheater, pumpkin eater, says Terry79. Oh, man. I didn't watch it was blindfolded, but that's another story, all right? We need the details on that, CCT. We need the details. We need to know why and what circumstances led to this blindfolding. Here in the United Kingdom. Bogus is here, Bogus. Hello, Bogus, my friend. We're, ex we're exposed to those scammers earlier. 
We expose the scammers. John Feruzzi says, great and down to it video. Thank you, John. Appreciate that very much. Infidel Metal says, nice envelope, man. Watch my challenge video and check mine out. Keep stacking, sir. Okay. All right. Let's see. I think he's commented before. Typically, I don't uh, do that based off of somebody. Just, But I think he has commented before and it looks like he probably is subscribed to me. Yep, he is. So I'll check him out later. Thank you. He's got platinum on his profile picture, too. Freedom Stacker ordered my first 10-ounce gold eagle. Nice. Congratulations. Uh, F2 Performance Lab. Why do you think it will take... What do you think it will take to buy one ounce gold versus one ounce silver in May? What do you think it will take to buy... A lot more money to buy the gold than it will the silver. If I understand your answer your question, I'm not sure what the the question is. <clears throat> Gold's still gonna be a lot more expensive. All right. Check that Marcus while doing push-ups, herb ashes. All right, we might try that. Because they're not gonna give me a one percent either way. And by the way, if it goes up one percent, I'll do the same thing. Twenty push ups, but here, but anyways. We'll check them here just momentarily. Sal get a view of Buffalo for a pocket piece. That's from the Indian on the obverse. Yes, that would be cool if I could do, but I'm I'm carried about gold, carrying gold as a pocket piece because I've I've almost lost the silver a couple of times. I don't want to do that. All right, let's see here. Let's check these markets. All right, look at that. They're pretty tepid. Not a whole lot going on here. Let's do some push-ups while we were all talking. We'll check these markets here. Here, there's the markets. Are there? I'm looking at the markets while doing push-ups. One, markets two, markets three, markets four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one. All right, that's not, you know. Yeah, since I'm doing them a little bit more, I should not get as winded when I do 20 push-ups these days. I shouldn't. Uh, we'll see. All right, very good. Now, there's the markets. They've not moved at all since I did those push-ups, but... Okay, let's see here. No way that's cheating. All right, thanks, Silver Stanger. All right. That is not cheating. Very good. Thank you. So I got confirmation there. Let's pour a little bit more water in this thing. Hey, Jenny Hansen. Jenny Hansen, take care. Be safe, my friend. Big hugs to you. A social embrace for Jenny. Thank you so much. Have a good one. All right. Mm. Silversmith, can you do a quick video on the security? Thank you for Sunshine Mining. Yes. Hold on. Hold on. Just one second. All done. All done. I already did a video on that. Search my videos for technology or uh, security uh, with silver. Something like that. And you'll find it. Yes, indeed. You'll see it. Australian dollar. All right, here's look, let's look at these in the Australian dollar. Look at that. Wow. It's the Australian dollar. What happens when you see numbers like this? Um... The percentages are pretty much the same to a degree, but it does look like the Australian dollar is dropping compared to the U.S. dollar, especially when you look at rhodium here, because there's no change in rhodium in U.S. dollar, but look at that. But still, not a full percentage drop on any, any, any of these. Let's see here. Steve Woods, what do you think of the paper gold through the Royal Canadian Mint? Only 1% premium. I'm still I'm a, much more of a fan of the... Uh, much more a fan of the physical. Much more a fan of the physical. All right, let's see here. Because digital gold is... Uh, digital gold is... is Or one of those, these things from... Like one gold have a 0.8% premium. Not even a 1% premium. <clears throat> Okay, let's see here. John Smith says, I have been procrastinating, just trying to build up my funds, hoping it would go back down. 
But when I heard of the stimulus packages, that's what made me pull the trigger. Yes, all right, very good. Yep, I know that is a good catalyst for reason to buy. And that is part of the reason why I did too, John Smith. All right. Thumbs up, my friend. Now, this might seem to be one of those other type of, um, of, uh, of uh, comments that are generic and may be a spam. So let's check it to make sure. And we'll see this guy's got 58 subscribers and he has different types of videos out there. Uh, let's see here. Yep, and look at that. He's in the coins. So he's got coins. So, so yeah, this guy's legit. So there you go. That's the way to tell. Very good. All right. Scrapper Stacker says, I've been stacking the fiat in my gold envelope since I can't find any silver anyway. At least any for a reasonable price. Yes, that's another good reason for sure. If you're uncomfortable with these premiums, wait till they, they come down. But keep in mind, silver premiums especially or as such are so high that it may be a better deal now with uh, with these massive silver premiums than it will be when the premiums go down and spot price goes up dramatically, if that happens. There's just something to think about. You know what I mean? So anyways, let's see. All right. Medio Man says, my envelope is getting frustrated with the prices, leaving it in limbo. It's a weird situation with gold high, my stack in the black, Yet I'm unhappy. I can't buy more. I know. I'm with you, too. I'd much rather gold be way down. I'd much rather it be way down so I can buy uh, gold. More gold. Yes, indeed. All right. Tricky guy. I didn't watch. I was bound, blindfolded, and gagged and tied to some other guy who sounded like CCT when they hit us with the cattle prods. Oh, my goodness. So that's the details on the blindfolding that... Uh, Cybercurrent Trisha was talking about. Getting late here. I have to wash my hands multiple times tomorrow. Yes, indeed. Be safe. CCT. While you do that, I'm going to check Terry79 for chicks and spam and uh, chicken wings. All right. Jared W3, remember, Sal, never lie, cheat, or steal. There you go. That's right. Exactly. Try not to. Ah. Uh. Let's see here. Russ Sherwood says, Heck, that's not cheating. Your second job must pay pretty good. Be blessed, be safe. Oh, man. All right. Thank you, Russ. Joe says, Hey, Sal, unfortunately, the market doesn't always wait for the envelope to fill up. Since I'm not buying any more silver, I have indeed more currency for gold buys during the dips. There you go. All right. Good job. Good job. <clears throat> Jared W3 reminds me of an Iron, Man, Iron Maiden song, Two Minutes to Midnight. That's right. The Golden Goose is on the loose and never out of reason. That's right, Jared W3. That's right. Two Minutes to Midnight. I have to check that out. A song out again. That's right. TH says, I've come to the conclusion that you might as well throw out the rule book when it comes to figuring this stuff out. I've seen the dollar rise and the precious metals do the same. There is no figuring this out. I think inflation will do the trick. And that may not be far off. So do we win? Not really. As the price of gold goes up, so will the price of goods. That's true. And that's part of gold preserving its your wealth. It doesn't increase your wealth. It preserves your wealth. That's the whole trick to it. That's the whole key to it, not trick. Yes, indeed. All right. Butchy Harding. Always get me to make coffee in the morning. There you go. All right. And yes, you can check me for something, Barbara, anytime. I needed a good frisking. If you could do that, that'd be good. All right. Tricky guy, how much would you trust a bullion company's promise to deliver two weeks from now or three or four? Uh, where's our cut line if that makes a promise? Um, that's a good question. I know uh, that question, that, that concern came up when I interviewed Jonathan from Monument Metals. And, uh, Obviously, the longer the delay is, the, the more likely you might not get it. But uh, I would hope that uh, you could trust them all. But I don't know. Stephen Graffin. Stephen Graffin, have you ever bought from Kitco? No, I have not. The Snow Leopard or Snow Tiger, whatever that was. The Rhodium. And part of me thought about buying it. You could only get it from them. But um, 
Uh, I never have bought from them. Mark B, my gold envelope got spent on food, so I start over. Hey, that's partially what it's there for, Mark B. But you're right, starting over. Very good. All right, Silver Watcher says, I'm putting my free $1,200 towards my gold envelope. Can't wait for price normalization. Yes, indeed, I hear you. Indeed, all right, very good. West Coast Stacker says, be great if Home Depot... Home Depot sold gold coins right off as a business expense. Consumable like the silver solder. Yes, that would be nice. That would be nice. One biz kid. That's funny. I'm stacking gold in my fiat envelope. All right. Nice. Kendall kid. Stack stuff. That gold envelope of fiat until it screams. Salivate. Yes. It must scream salivate. All right. All right, let's see. 84 thumbs up, four thumbs down. 108 watching. Very good. Good to see you guys. Dissident Aggressor says, I say, it's an exercise in budgeting. With proper budgeting, breaking the piggy bank can be avoided. That it sure can. You're exactly right. You're exactly right. Okay, Coins A to Z says, it's not a sprint, it's a marathon. You're exactly right. Amen, brother. Prices are like erections that can't last forever unless you have an abnormal reaction to and that lasts more than four hours, then, you know, it's a different story. Let's see here. And moving down the comment chain here, we've got Coin Collecting Fun. Way to press on. Thank you so much, my friend. Coin Collecting Fun. Check him out. Very nice. Montague Picasso, good to see you, Montague. Good to see you, indeed. All right. Three slurps and a thumbs up, says Just Add Silver. Thank you so much. Very kind. In inefficient stacker, my driving factor. It's so shiny. I agree with your analysis on this dollar versus gold. I do not really watch the daily spot price on gold so much. I watch it, but I try to make a macro view and longer timeline view. I do. Pay attention to the dollar, however. Given the amount of money printing going on right now, I do not see how the dollar can continue to maintain its strength. I personally see gold going higher. You know, I do too, but you know what? Given what's happened with the last rounds of quantitative easing, I'm not really so sure that the dollar can't survive this. Um, but I do think they are contemplating a reset or something some sort in case the SHTF situation in a financial world. Second, I'm packing. That's it. We need to get these rules straight and written down. Put cash in, take cash out. That just tells me your budget is wrong. Question, is there a limit on how much you spend decorating the envelope? I spent $2 to decorate that envelope, actually. Um, uh, if I decorate my envelope with 1 20th gold maples, do I win the envelope challenge? There you go. Now, that's an idea. Can we have one more than one envelope? When you stand up for the size of each one's envelope, can one envelope have more than one person putting cash in it? Does it get cash in a bank envelope? Can I just spray paint the envelope gold? That's what um, um, uh, another overtaxed taxpayer suggested. All right, it gets too full. Sanitizer, all of these kind of things. All right, very good. Richard Simpson says, I'm sure you need that box of donuts and put good use to them. Hmm. All right, I'm not sure what the box of donuts has to do with it, but uh, all right, thank you. All right. Is putting stimulus checks in the envelope cheating? No, because it's it's money. It's all the same. I would say it's not cheating. Wolfman Sachs is here. Hello, Wolfie. I need to check out some of your videos. You did a couple short. I saw them pop up. I need to check them out. Good to see Wolfman. How you doing? Ozzy Alchemist says, a little higher and to the right sound. Nice. I'll see kangaroo you have there. One half ounce. Time for church. All right. Yes, indeed. Actually, uh, that's a one-tenth ounce, actually. Oh, this is another dang it. I hate these guys get through. But we will report. And actually, this should go quicker because we're not so far down the chain. Do they actually think that people are going to buy their crap? I guess one in a thousand are due. Who knows? I don't do gold. Okay, M. Hawkins. That's okay, Mr. Hawkins. It's not for everybody, yes. 
Such a beautiful design, says Silverholic. Thank you so much for checking that video out. The 2020 pulsating maple. I love it's a mesmerizing coin. It really is. I really like it a lot. Steve Wood says, watched earlier and came back to say thank you. I'm going to try and do the paper gold through the Royal Canadian Mint tomorrow. Okay. Um, I would just do I would just do regular gold, but that's just me. But yeah, thanks, Steve Woods. All right. As long as you can get it cashed out into gold. And then you're all right. You are such a silver pumper, Sal. It's time for this video to be updated again. Uh, well, you know, it still pretty much holds its worth. Um, uh, I would say it's still, even with that being said, it's a little bit down. But I think even in that video, I, um, I, uh, I'm, I talked about times where it goes below and then above uh, the, the level of inflation. Oh no, that's, oh no, it was funny stacking and packing. I just didn't read every single question, but that's good. A lot of different ways to uh, questions about the envelope challenge. All right, let's check these markets. Right on brother says Mr. Popzilla. Thank you, Mr. Popzilla. So let's check these markets one more time before we say goodbye because we've been going for an hour and a half now. And what are they doing here? The markets are down just slightly. So pretty stable, pretty steady, just down just a little bit for the most part. Uh, you know, gold and silver, platinum. And that tells me that uh, the markets aren't as worried in Asia. And more likely that means that the European markets may be the, may be the thing. But I think the watch is, this coronavirus is going to be the thing to watch over the next week or two for it to get worse in the United States. Um, and if it gets worse in the United States, that's going to have an economic impact as well. But most importantly, the human impact is the thing that is concerning the most, obviously. Um, so we just pray for everybody involved and, uh, and everybody try to stay safe. This is very contagious. Practice social distancing. Wash your hands a lot. Cover your, if you can wear a scarf or what have you, um, do it. If you're out in public, um, for sure. And just be careful out there. You know, it's crazy. Some people say you can get this just by being around somebody who's talking they don't even have to sneeze on you or anything so anyways all right well there you have it guys we made it through and we didn't have any audio problems except for the very beginning as some people heard some issues but i think it's uh, there i'm rambling again sorry so i'm gonna say good night now a multitude of gratitude i hope you have a wonderful evening